So Catherine Stoddart has had a wonderful year. We'd like to hear some of her experiences as the reigning 2011 Telstra WA Business Woman of the Year. She is the Chief Nurse and Midwifery Officer here in WA. Let's hear it for the 2011 Telstra WA Business Woman of the Year, Catherine Stoddart. <laughs> Wow, it's a big title that I've only just got used to, I think. I'd first like to acknowledge the Honourable Robin McSweeney, the, in this case the Minister for Women's Interests, and Helen Lee, who is an Executive Director from Telstra. Also, all the past winners, some of who um, have trudged this floor last year with me. To, I'd like to thank the sponsors, particularly Telstra, and in my case, uh, White Pages, and all of the category sponsors. Last year, about this time, I was listening to Denise Goldsworthy speaking, and I was amazed at her leadership and the accomplishments that she'd had. Not only did I never expect to be standing here, but I certainly didn't expect to be sharing a, a concrete bed with her at the WACA um, during the CEO sleep out. I have to say that it probably wasn't a pleasure, but it was a great adventure. Over the course of 2011 and most of 2012, the Telstra Award has allowed me to seize the opportunity to reflect on three really important issues for me. One was the contribution of women in caring professionals, professions that make up such a difference to our community. In my case, there's 270,000 registered nurses in Australia and I lead 34,000 of them in Western Australia. So it's really important to me that I can talk about the contribution that these women make. Everybody knows a nurse, so we're quite an influential group if we all get together. It's really important for the employment of women and education of women because it builds our communities and adds social value. All of our caring professions do. And as much as, as it's about women achieving in areas that are not traditionally female roles. It's really important in caring roles where they are predominantly women. 95% of our nurses are female and as a result of that we do suffer with some of the disparities compared to other professions. So it's really important that we can actually promote the caring professions. I've had to rethink and rebadge the business acumen of these nurses in a way that's more explicit for our community and so that I can get that across to our executive teams as well in order to promote, make sure that uh, nurses are promoted. And I worked very hard in this year uh, with a great deal of joy to promote the contribution that WA makes as leaders as, in a range of areas and to, be, um, and to promote the concept of global citizenship in our region. I've met people I didn't think I'd ever meet or have exposure to and mostly that's been a good thing. <laughs> I, I've, defini <laughs> I've definitely had to get, been given a lot of leeway in a government role to seize the moment and talk about areas that I wouldn't necessarily have the opportunity to do so. It's given me a lot of confidence to voice my opinion without the constraints of my position and to talk broadly on those areas I feel passionate about. Recognising the contribution of caring health uh, in roles such as health, social development roles, nursing, teachers, health professionals, creates opportunities for women to be educated and employed and build their skills. That's really important in Western Australia. It's even more important for our most vulnerable populations where there's not necessarily access to education and it's certainly important in an international environment in the developing countries. So, so Pathways to Nursing has been a really important part of this last 12 months for me. Minimal education through to doctorate level for our, for our nurses is my mantra. Education and employment of women in poverty will um, in, ensure that the whole community and is, is built and also that we improve health literacy. As I began to talk about nurses in leadership as a, as a result of the Telstra Award over the last 12 months, I've heard, heard, been able to say that nurses in on wards lead large teams of people. They have 30 to 50 FTE of staff or um, people. They have three million, about $3 million budgets. They see about 1,000 patients a year and about 10,000 family members. They make time critical decisions that affect very vulnerable consumers. That's a small business. It's probably a medium business actually. And each of these women, when, when I've talked about it in that context, have actually taken the charge. And as a result of it, we've been able to start a new program that is largely the name came from here. It's called Great Care Is Our Business. And it's for those nurses who are taking on foundational skills as leaders so that we can actually be the people who reform the health system for you as our community. Over the last chance, I've also had to grow a program that I found, founded three years ago that brings about contribution of WA to, as global citizens. By that, I mean we actually affect the most remote and rural communities in WA and our international neighbours in the Indian Ocean Rim. We know we're a wealthy state with excellent health, 
education, mining, engineering, you name it, we've got expertise in most things. And WA has made a strong commitment to providing community volunteers in nursing and midwifery in areas such as Tanzania and East Timor. But why would we do this? Well, we all share the globe with everyone. We've had the GFC and we've all felt that. We've had pandemics, we've had climate change, we've had Kobe 2012. <laughs> and what happens in our neighbours' countries, such as infectious diseases, the impact of social media affects us all. Also, in the case of nursing, and I'm, I guess this is the most significant part for me, the World Health Assembly in 2008 made a resolution that the single biggest difference we can make to the health of the world in developing countries is to train more nurses. So as global citizens, I feel in my role it's incumbent on us because we have so many benefits in WA in terms to actually be part of that. It also helps us. It builds our culture and develops leadership skills. And I think we must do it for the future of our, um, of our region. My goal now, because you wouldn't want to end my year as a, um, a Telstra award winner and not have another goal, my goal now is to take this concept, which is used for doctors, nurses, midwives, to volunteer in remote Australia and overseas across not only the public sector, but industry. So WA now is seen as the community to aspire to as global citizens. I think the Telstra Award has allowed me to explore these passions and given me time to reflect on an overall legacy that I'd like to leave, both for nurses, women, and as a contribution to our community. And really that for me is about generosity. In people, it's a very attractive trait to be generous, whether it's as in time as a volunteer, money through leadership awards, or compassion as a caring professional. And it seems to me that it's possible to be generous as a community without losing any of ourselves, our wealth, or our identity in a similar way, and therefore further enhance the attractiveness of our country. Yes, the Telstra Awards have taken me from having big plans to huge plans, and in some cases given me networks and direction to build on these passions. It's caused me to reflect on my own values and those things I hold dear. To some extent, it's broadened my view beyond nursing and altered my direction, but how exciting. I don't know where it's going to take me next. I'd like to thank my team who have enjoyed limited time with me over the last 12 months. I've probably um, undertaken about 100, between 120 and 150 presentations related to my Telstra Award over the last 12 months. And as a result of that, I've had to um, reflect on some of the time that I would do in my current role. My sons have been passionate and the driving force behind all that I want to achieve, and I'd like to thank them and my family, who've been the great joy and reminder in all of this that balance is everything. So congratulations to the finalists and the winners today. It's going to be a great ride. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>